Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here. Welcome back to Fortnite and look what's over there. Legendary Troll Stash Llama. Okay, so personally, I have committed myself to opening every single Troll Llama that shows up. Um, let me go to my daily rewards here and refresh this. Okay, I can only buy two. So I can only buy two. So I'm going to spend 1,000 V-Bucks right now to open both of these. Now, a lot of times people keep saying, which are the best llamas? Which are the best llamas to open? Um, personally, I believe that the legendary troll loot truck llamas are the best. But those usually cost about 1,500. And those guarantee you 20, uh, 20 items. And usually in those, you get three or four legendaries. Usually four or more. I think it's guaranteed for legendaries actually. So for best bang for your buck, those are by far the best. And you can get some really good items. Plus you get whatever seasonal ticket is, you're gonna get 500 for each. You kind of get 500 for each 500 that you spend. Huh, I just realized that. Anyway, um, but then you also have, like, let's say you want really good survivors, you want some mythic leads and something. For that, the legend, the super uh, people llama is really, really good. And if you really want a chance to try to try and get a mythic hero, then the superhero llama is probably the best. But that one, I mean, unless you're really, really, really wanting a, a mythic hero, chances are uh, you can get them in the super people or even maybe in the legendary troll. Um, you know, it, it's like those. But these ones, these ones are the only ones that say legendary and it says an entire suite of goodies direct from your local troll stash contains at least eight definitely not stolen items and you are guaranteed at least one legendary in this one. So that's why um, this one is, this one's okay, okay? This one's okay. It's not the greatest ever. I'm gonna, I'm guaranteed one legendary item, but I'm gonna get 500, well, if I buy both of them, I'm gonna get a thousand uh, uh, firecracker tickets. And you know what? I'm, I'm gonna get heroes and survivors and other other schematics to be able to recycle. That will give me more schematic experience, etc., etc. So by far, for me, the very best one, the top one is the legendary troll loot truck llama. And if you guys wanna check my channel, I have a couple other videos, uh, you know, showing that. So, you know, showing those openings and those have been really good. But of course, don't forget that no matter what you pull, even if it is a legendary item, it might not have the best perks and traits and roles, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think we'll call them perks. Um, thank you to someone. I, I keep going from traits or roles or perks. But anyway, <clears throat> but um, so remember that if, even though it's a, it might be a legendary item, it might not have the best perks. But then again, there's no other way of getting schematics right now in the game. This is the only way to get it. So having said all that, <laughs> also don't forget if you want to participate, uh, I believe there's a current giveaway, right? Yes, there's a giveaway right now going on. There's two giveaways happening right now. Uh, check the links in the down description for those videos if you guys are interested in either a copy of this game, trying a chance to win, or if you would like to win a copy of the mobile Fortnite, that's the Battle Royale version, which I don't really mess with that much, but I have a bunch of codes so I can give some away. Anyway, let's do this. So we're going to open two of these, two legendary troll stash llamas, guaranteeing at least, oh, I like the, I like the axe actually. I like how the axe looks. The axe looks good. Um, so, here we go. Leave me be. Leave me be. No, I'm not gonna leave you be. I'm gonna destroy you. Okay. Cover splinter axe. Okay. Hail brother Odin. What? <laughs> um, let's go for a. Let's go for the trap. Well, survivors are gonna give more survivor experience. Let's go for a survivor. Uh, Kira, what did you uh, what did you pull? Okay, Copper Liberator. There's my tickets. Here's a epic, and I've got one more, and then we have a legendary. And the legendary is another thumper. Oh, hi! I got two legendaries. Uh, oh, hardware schematic and club schematic. I mean, I already got, I already got one of the best hardwares ever. 
Um, clubs. I have a pretty good bat that I don't really use. I kind of want to stick with the hardware. I kind of want to stick with the hardware. Let's see what the hardware gives us. Socket Slugger. All right, we'll have to check it out. So two legendaries in that one. Very nice. Um, Rakish Rake. There you go, gold. He's got his little hat. Brother Odin. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna tap right here, right on the lock. Leave me be. Nope. Give me good stuff. Okay. One. Um. Uh, let's go with the sniper. So this is the thing too. Even if you get this exact same weapon you've had before. The chances are you're not going to get the exact same rolls, the exact same perks. So it's pretty good. I mean, it's always good to. Oh, nice. I needed it. Oh, and a Xun room sweeper. Cool. Okay. So I already have a pretty decent room sweeper, but let's see what this one has. Oh. Crit chance, magazine size, longer durability, crit damage, and nature that causes affliction. Oh, that's nice. Like, those are nice. And nature comes in handy in the higher levels. Mm. The other problem, guys, is... You need so much schematic experience. You know what? We need to we need to calculate exactly how much schematic experience it costs to get a weapon to level 20 and then to 30. Um, I like this one. I don't know if it's better than my already the real super I already have, but we'll check it out. Okay. Retractable force spikes with crit damage, reload speed, crit damage, crit damage, and crit chance. Da oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. 49% crit chance, it's practically 50%. And 135 crit damage with reload speed. <gasps> oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I I love the I We're we're making we're making floor spikes now. We're making floor spikes. Alright. Um, survivor, survivor, survivor. I like this. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. Like, like this is good. The only thing that I mean, throw in the durability in there, but no reload speed, reload speed, crit chance, and crit damage. <gasps> Guys, this is good. I am hyped about this. Very hyped. Okay, let's keep going, and let's see how not so hyped we're gonna be now. 14% longer durability, heavy attack efficiency, damage to stun staggered and knocked, damage to afflict targets, and crit chance. So this is not bad, but again, what's the point of having a damage to afflicted targets if you can't cause affliction? Now, I could like have a weapon that you know you throw out, will cause affliction, and then you come in swinging with this one. But, you know, I mean, to be perfectly honest, um, unless, unless, a, unless something has... Um, an attribute, which is like, you know, like a nature, fire, you know, nature, uh, sorry, uh, nature, fire, water, or energy. Unless something has that, you know, or causes affliction, you know, it's kind of like not the best. But when you have something that causes affliction and has damage to afflict the targets, that's really good. But also, you want, like, you if you have a crit damage, then you want crit chance. This is actually very nice. The 22.5 damage to afflicted targets would be wonderful if this weapon also caused affliction. Because it doesn't, it's going to go into the collection book. And the thumper? Wow. Huh. It's a nature kind of day today. Okay, those first four are gorgeous.
Okay, we're gonna we're let's let's go let's go do and there's my 500 500 tickets. Okay, let let's go back. Uh, let's go into my armory and let's check this out. So I already have a thumper here. This thumper has crit chance damage, crit damage, crit damage. Look at the crit damage it has. This has a hundred and fifty. So okay, this is better. It's better. I mean, this one only has fourteen crit chance, but that's not so bad. Um, it has damage, it's got nature, which causes affliction, and over 150% crit damage. Come on. This thumper is amazing. And the other thumper has, oh man, it's got, well, it's got the same amount of, no, it's got more crit chance. Oh, it's got a lot more crit chance. It's got 40 something percent crit chance. Crit damage and 15% damage. So... Oh man, too bad this. Too bad I can't just change out the damage for a crit chance on this one. Oh, I don't know. Energy, nature. Okay, uh, let's see. So this one is actually these. I already had one, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, damage to flick target. Okay, so I'm actually going to uh, put one in my collection book and then throw the other one uh, out. You know, like batch recycle the other one, recycle one. And finally, let's compare rune sweepers. So I have a rune sweeper that has damage, damage to afflicted targets, damage, and fire rate. So this one has 25% damage and an increased fire rate. The increased fire rate is really important. Um, it also changes the fire with affliction. Uh, and this one has uh, nature affliction, crit chance, magazine size, longer durability, and crit damage. Oh, it's just beautiful. Man, the magazine size is just gorgeous. Wait, is this one energy? No, it's not. It's fire. Okay, so this is not so great because I already have my Masamune that has fire. And I have... Who else did I have that has fire? Well, that has energy. Oh, that's beautiful. That has water. Oh, beautiful. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, oh, man. So, wait. What's the... So it's a, it, the magazine size is going to go up by, well, it's only going to go up by five. That's still a lot though. That's still a lot. I like that. I like that. That's not bad. Uh, I don't know guys. I don't know. I mean, both, I think that, uh, I think that they're both winners. Um, this one is actually very nice because it has nature and affliction with a gigantic crit chance. I mean, just beautiful. But the one I already have has a gigantic crit damage with a crit chance causing affliction and creating damage. I don't know, guys. I mean, this one is good for all around because it has energy type, but this one's going to be really good against nature. So you know what? I may have to I may have to keep them both. Um, the key is finding where I'm going to get more schematic experience. Now, I know I have a lot of these here. I need to make some tough choices, but if you look at my collection book, um, I can still put a lot of these in the collection book. So I got to make some tough choices. I got to decide who I want to put where, you know, uh, if I want to collection book all these first or if I want to, you know, just save them. But uh, there we go. I'm going to leave it there, guys. You guys got to see what potentially can come from um, the troll stash llamas. Now, please understand you're not guaranteed two llamas. I know uh, two legendary items. I know you're only guaranteed one. Uh, it doesn't say it right now, but... Um, it is just guaranteed one. You only got guaranteed one. So if you're going to be opening in this llama, you know, good luck. Um, it is up for grabs. You do get the guaranteed 500 tickets, which uh, is really great because now I'm at 6,383. Maybe, maybe I can get the, the 10,000 before the event goes away. We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, so personally for me, I would say if you really, really want to save up your V-Bucks, if you are... Just grinding the game, getting V-Bucks. I would recommend, if you want items, save until you get the Troll Loot Truck. The Truck Lava. Those usually cost 1,500 V-Bucks, but they're guaranteed 20 items, and you get like four, you know? Um, you get like four legendaries. And it's really the best bang for your buck in the game, but it is 1,500 V-Bucks each one. And then the other ones that I would recommend is the Super People Llamas because the Super People Llamas are the ones that are going to help your squads. And as you can see, I have a full Mythic squad, which is uh, absolutely awesome. I mean, for where I am and my level right now, the full Mythic squad has just helped me so much. So 
going forward though i don't know how much more i'm going to be pulling but i have said that i will pull all the troll uh llamas and you never know it's very possible that soon we might get new llamas so we'll have to see but anyway i'm gonna leave it there guys thank you very much for watching if you guys are interested in that give giveaway or the giveaways for um either a version of the founders edition the basic founders edition for save the world the pve version or the mobile fortnite go check out the links down below in the description and they'll probably pop up somewhere up here too uh you can just link on them uh, click on them and go check it out and you can enter there so thank you very much guys as always i am duj2 and um i'll see you guys next time see ya